So guys, it's 11.15, we're going outside. And, you know, I'm just taking my dog out for a walk. Just past the car with the number 69 number plate. I'm boiling angry, not happy, I'm angry. Bloody cross. Because you should see these things don't happen in real life. You don't take animals into shops, not food shops. <laughs> so you're going to play on it now. They start playing on it. Like they've made me upset. They're going to play on it. She's cruel and wicked, right? <laughs> I taped it. Oh, it's very difficult to tape. To tape with, with not, you know, where you're upset to tape. At one point, my hand was shaking. I really don't want to have to call nine nine nine. No, because I mean, when I was speaking to the copper over the phone. I mean, just going out for a walk, having to call the police, really. So they think they've made me cross, I'm going to lose my temper, do something bad. No, they're caught on camera. You see? <laughs> caught on camera. Rattling, isn't it? Rattling. The young lady with the dog sat down there. You've got to remember that I've been bullied for four years by a big, fat, nasty man. <laughs> So this is just a normal everyday occurrence. <laughs> well, someone coming down in a mobility scooter. We've got to let this poor guy pass, right? Stand here, Matt. Watch a little. Gotta let the poor guy pass. With the mobility screw, haven't we? This guy is dressed like one of my sons. Remember that I'm five foot five. <laughs> so he's dressed like one of my sons, towering above me. <laughs> Boat going up there. <laughs> I'm five foot five. Both my sons are six foot three. They're both six six foot plus. <laughs> Poor guy's got to go all past these women with dogs up there with his mobility scooter. There's my sister that was in a mobility scooter, Amanda. And the things they did to my sister was appalling. Absolute scumbags, what they did to my sister. They stole off of her mobility scooter. Absolute scum. Scumbags. All for TV. They took the piss out of my sister. Someone called her a drunk and she had multiple sclerosis. All for television. <sighs> let the cowards be cowards and let the 
strong be strong cowardly chickens that's why they've been trying to keep me indoors it's TV isn't it more cardboard flats with plastic trees and lamp posts that fucking blow in the wind No one's intimidating me. <laughs> Not scared of them, they're just, pe you know, they're just irritants, parasites. People that feed off people's misery and, and causing them misery and laughing and thinking it's funny, just paras parasites. Doesn't matter how long your legs are, how long your hair is, if you've got straight teeth, if you've got this and that. If you're shitty to people, they're not going to like you, are they? And to be honest, whoever's fucking making up fake profiles and they're going to do this to me and do that to me, you've been saying it for the past 20 years. I ain't said nothing and I doubt I ever will because you are nothing. You're nobody. One of my sons is famous. He's famous. He's been on the TV. He's on Wikipedia. Just jealous. They're jealous. And when they pay him what they owe him for the work he's done, he'll probably have money in a car as well. But they're thieves, aren't they? Keep asking for photographs and not paying people for them. No wonder he hasn't got a car. It does make me angry when you, when you work hard and they steal everything and don't pay you what they owe you. And the more they hang around and irritate me, like the irritants that they are, the more I am going to get upset. Thieves! Absolute thieves! What they, how they treated me and my son at Blue Water. Absolutely disgusting, vile, irritating parasites. And if they're that fucking big and special, <laughs> where are they? Right, there's the Scott Line boat just taking off. sit in their boxes all day burping and barking out the window like the sad sorry whatever they are nothing and nobody got to bully someone else because their life is so shit I think it's funny when it's going to get reported. Everyone that fucking pisses with me will get reported. Take that up. Take that. Scott Line boat. Sorry guys. Every time the guy upstairs has got his kids over at the weekend, they behave like primeval monsters. Because they want me to shout and act mad. And I've caught them all doing what they're doing. You don't have pets in shops. It's not a pet shop, it's a food shop. Perhaps they can't see properly. <sighs> ah, but like when it says no cameras, right? It's a civil matter, you see. So the police can't get involved. If they take a snake or a reptile or a lizard in there, it's a civil matter. So technically they could take a monkey, a giraffe, an elephant or even, well, they probably do have had those in there already, elephants and cows. 
You know what I mean? Civil matter. Ooh. <laughs> that was loud. That was loud. Nothing wrong with me at all. They're just jealous and spiteful. And they hurt animals as well, guys. They're cruel to my pets. Just because they don't like me. Why don't they like me? No, they want to copy my clothes and be me, but they want to shove me down in a gut in the, in the fucking... In, out the way. So I've got to start coming out and fucking just being me. So they're staying indoors, shutting up and letting them get away with it. They don't care. They're on camera, they're on camera swearing. They just don't give a fuck. Because they know no one's going to do anything. It's not the fact that the guy swore. We all swear. I swear. It's that I was walking underneath that balcony and he went fucking moo. You know, not not um I'm sorry, I don't even know what the dog's name is. I don't I I don't wanna know. I feel sorry for the dog. I feel sorry for the dog. But uh Good boy, Max. Sit down, Max. You don't tell a dog to fucking move, do you? It's the type of fucking owner that kicks it. <laughs> now kicks it out of the way because it's a nuisance. What got me as well, I was fucking steaming angry when I went into the co-op but I managed to keep myself under control and I take what they was doing to try and antagonise. When I was walking back, his girlfriend, wife, whatever she is, was on the balcony and I went into the, um, they had the dog on the balcony again when I was walking back from the co-op. And she made a noise, she, she went, oh, be quiet, and then she saw me and she went, oh, like, don't bother, bark at her. And I, I went, I went, oi, what are you doing? And she went, nothing, darling, and I'm a woman. She went, nothing, darling. I went, don't call me darling. And that's the words the flirt finder pervert uses. And I can prove that and all. They're 100% certain that they can get away with treating me like that, right? And, that, you know, fair enough. All after my son comes down to see me. You get a pile of fucking bollocks, rubbish. So there's someone with a white t-shirt coming this way. I'm just going to grab Max, but I don't want my t-shirt to get dirty, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Hello. Hello, baby. You get it and all, don't you, mate? Come. So somebody with a white t-shirt walking with his girlfriend, and I'm a woman with a white t-shirt on, by the way. Just take it easy. I, t I said to myself. Breathe in, breathe out. I will not scream and shout, and I do try. But this is me. I'm a human being. This is raw. And woken, woken up at 20 past 7 this morning 
with fucking, you know, Oh, it's the guy opposite. He's got a white t-shirt on like myself. The guy with muffin is with his girlfriend and he's wearing a white t-shirt. It's a good name for a dog, that muffin. I wrote about it in my diary, I think a couple of years ago. How I was hungry and they were calling their dog muffin. And I was actually hungry. <laughs> I've gone for a lot and you're going to lose it a couple of times and I don't think I've actually lost it. Enough. Defending yourself is not losing it. got white t-shirts on. They have you know. Just walking around here. Look for a walk. Yeah, nice Persian cat in the co-op. Persian. Somebody said to me, how's your cat Nikki? And um, I was talking about how Nikki had lost her fur. Do you hear, see how spiteful they are as well? How horrible and spiteful they all are. And they just burst into laughter at nothing. They've actually nearly killed my cat. It's wandering around like with bits of fur missing. And then they to go into the cart with a lovely Persian cat and you've got Kim laughing. Do you see how it affects your mood and what they do? They think my cat that's always almost starved to death and lost its fur is funny. They don't deserve to have pets, none of them that are bullying me. They don't. You see that? You're supposed to be a loving, caring pet owner. Fucking move! How do you think he treats an elderly person that's a bit of a nuisance? Fucking get out of the way! Fuck off! <laughs> These people have jobs. These people care and look after people and they've got that attitude. Absolutely disgusting. Vile people. Self-centred. Narcissistic. Me, 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 me. I've got to look better. I am better. No, you're not. Everybody goes the same way, you ain't no better than me. I sit on the fucking toilet, so do you. You shit, your shit's brown, so is mine. I think they're better than me. Yeah, so what if they are? I don't give a fuck, I'm just doing my thing. If you don't like it, I'm going to annoy somebody else because I'm not interested. Oh. So I can dress up like an old man. I don't want to. Anyway guys, I'm going to stop this video. This is lovely Rochester. It's, it is, the castle's lovely and so is the cathedral. Yeah, 
yeah, of course I'm worried it's going to get to the point where one of them physically attacks me, but um, I will defend myself. <laughs> This ain't the real world. I'm being ripped off. You don't take pets into fucking food shops. And I wish I had all day and a load of time to stare out the window and make fun of people, but I've got better things to do with my time. They obviously have got so much time on their hands that they need some help finding what to do with it. on my own all my life and I know why being quiet and solitary stopped me from being murdered by my father because abusers like kids that scream and make a noise and I hid in the cupboard I kept quiet and I didn't say a word and that's what saved me from being murdered by my own father if you can't trust your parents, who can you fucking trust? See you later.